This is about uh, Visio Group Basics. So we're going to cover some uh, basic things about forming Visio Groups. And to start out, I uh, have uh, four objects here. I'm going to select three of those objects, uh, right click, and uh, go to Shape and Group. So now they've uh, formed a group. And if we go to Select um, any, either of these, uh, it will select the entire group. And once we've um, formed a group uh, this way, there's a number of things we can do. Of course, we can move them together. And then we can select individual objects within the group. And we can move them uh, whichever way we want to. And it's a second click. So once we've clicked on the group, it selects the entire group. And then we click again on an individual object, and it selects that individual object. And uh, we can manipulate objects within the group. Uh, in any particular way that we uh, want to. So uh, the group has some useful features. Uh, one thing is that we can add text and data to the group as a whole. I'm just going to select the group here and um, type in some text. And that text is now attached uh, to the group. And that's a group um, connection to it. We can also add data to the group. Now, um, in adding text and data, we have to be very careful. Uh, it's easy to ungroup uh, a group. Uh, you should just select the group and then right click and then go to shape and ungroup. Uh, however, if we ungroup, we're going to lose the connection to that uh, text that we added to it. And also, if we add any data to the group, we're going to lose the connection to that data. So rather than um, uh, ungrouping, if possible, say um, you know, we want to uh, remove something from the group, well, you can remove it by just um, selecting the individual object and um, just deleting it. And that removes it from the group. A little bit harder to do, though, is to add something to the group. So uh, the reason we'd want to, rather than ungroup and then group all these things together, what we'd want to do is add it to the group so that we can preserve the group identity. And to do that, uh, we select the item select something we want to add to the group, then go to the uh, shape menu and grouping and we see an item on here called add to the group. So when we do that, now uh, we have a group that adds that other item and it retains the uh, text for the group and we can go in and select the individual item and move that uh, somewhere within the group as we want to. And so that's uh, some of the basic things about uh, creating and modifying groups in 